On this week's boiler tip, we're gonna look around the boiler room at different places that we've got check valves and talk about what they're doing in each case. If we follow the path of water from the water softeners to our feed system, this deaerator, there are several locations where we have check valves here. The first one being where the soft water goes to the deaerator. And that's critical because if we go over pressure on the deaerator or we lose pressure on our feed water softener, the last thing we wanna do is put steam from the deaerator back in the softener. It's a, it's a, it'd be a goner. We've also got check valves on the outlet of each pump. That way we can rotate pumps without manually having to isolate each individual pump. Now, just a word of warning, if one of these fails, you're gonna get less capacity out of this pump because part of the water is gonna be going back through that pump. So that's a good check valve to keep an eye on. If you see a check valve on a pressure vessel, or on a heat exchanger, it's probably serving the role as a vacuum breaker. So if we have a sudden drop in pressure on the deaerator, it's gonna allow it to suck in air and prevent additional cavitation of the pumps. On a heat exchanger, a vacuum breaker is typically there to allow air in to facilitate draining of the heat exchanger when there's no demand. Many of our chemical injection points use quills to inject chemical into the boiler, and they often include a check valve mechanism so that if we have a break in a chemical line or no pressure coming from the pump, we don't back feed hot boiler water into the chemical system. Check valves are critical on our feed water inlets because if we've got an on-off pump cycle, we're 100% dependent on this check valve to keep water from flowing back out of the boiler into the feed system. Probably the biggest check valve in your boiler room is the non-return valve on the boiler. This check valve prevents pressure from other boilers entering this boiler when this boiler is shut down. Here's a couple more. We've got one on the outlet of a pump. Just about every pump's going to have a check valve on the outlet of it. And here's another one on the outlet of a steam trap. If we shut the system down, we don't want all the condensate in the condensate return system to be sucked back into the steam system by the resulting vacuum.